hey what's up you guys <clears throat> so for today's video i think i'm just gonna kind of i'm probably gonna do like a sit down again i'm like sick as always i don't know what's going on with my life i had like <clears throat> i don't even know how to say it so it's gonna be wrong like a sinus itis sinus itis i don't even know but i had that and i took my z pack and then yesterday <clears throat> I went to Springfield and was throwing up the whole time so who knows I think it was because of the zinc I took I really have no idea but it makes me angry because it was like I was going there to have fun and I was sick but I still had fun but I think in this video I'm gonna sit down maybe and I'm gonna talk about like New Year's kind of resolutions I know it's into the year already it's the 14th but still the week before school starts and I'm just gonna kind of do like a random <laughs> little video because I want to put this video out today so I want it to be like an easier video to edit so it can actually like go out today for sure even if it's later in the day so I'm gonna get into that but first I'm gonna sit down because I got this package from Bombay and Cedar it's not the subscription but in like December I ordered stuff probably like more than a month ago I think it was like early-ish December middle December and I ordered all this stuff and it finally came in I forgot about it and then I was like "Ooh, a package so I'm gonna sit down and show you guys that stuff really quickly so in the background you can see my messy room I redid my room though I painted it because in my other videos it was like blue and green like dark colors but now it's like behind me it's gray but it's also sage green. You can see the sage green right here. And then like the gray here. Only one wall is green. <clears throat> and the rest are gray. And then where I'm at right now. I'm sitting in front of my desk. Which used to be where my bed's at. And then over my dresser's by my door. And then my vanity thing's right here by the window. So it's all changed. But I really like it. That came in Bombay and Cedar. This is in there. So I got this, um, this is like, I can't read it. Some cursive, like, I don't even know. It's like, I don't know, something organics. So this is what it is. It's something, oh, some organics. And it is a oatmeal colloidal bath soap green tea and peppermint number 12 i don't know what that means 100 percent organic or ingredients rolled oats sodium bicarbonate coconut oil green tea leaves peppermint leaves and then it says therapeutic grade essential oil peppermint so this is made in denton texas and it's nine ounces and it looked like that Ooh, that smells so good it literally just smells like peppermint tea so it's a little bath soak, so it seems really nice. And then on the back it says put 10% off your next order. It I L M. It's L M. That's what it is. L M Organics. Shop.com with code B and C18. Shop. So this code may or may not still be valid. If you want to try it out, you can use it because I'm not spending money. So I'm excited to try that. And then I got another one of these. I ordered in another one of these because we got these in the box, I think it was last month or two months ago. But I wanted another one because I really liked the body polish. So the one that I got in the box a few months ago was Jasmine and Rose. And I really like the smell of this one. So this one is Frankincense and Mirth. So I don't want to open it yet. But I can't really smell anything anyways. I just don't want to open it because it has like the six month life thing. So like on the little whatever. I don't want to open them until I'm actually going to use it right then. So I got that in the box. And everything was like cheaper. It doesn't show on my like order slip. But everything was like a certain amount off already. Because that's like how the Bombay and Cedar shop works. You get like percentages off. And then on top of that, I had, like, a bunch of points from, like, my boxes, like, buying the boxes. So, I think I had, like, $25 or, like, whatever else. So, I only paid, like, a little bit of money for this stuff. 
And then I got another one of these cups and I'm honestly just gonna pack it up with the stuff for when I eventually move with my husband, which won't be for like a year or two because he's in the military and I need to finish school. So he'll be gone anyways. So I'm gonna wait to open this up, but I really like these um, pinky up double wall tumbler, not really tumbler, but double wall glass tea mugs because it keeps them like insulated better. I really like these mugs. So I got another one because it was really cheap. So it's borosilicate glass mug, double wall for temperature of drink, exterior cold to touch, hand wash recommended. So I got one of these because I use it a lot, but I only need one mug for my teas because I have tons of mugs, but I like this mug in particular. So I'm just gonna pack that in the stuff. I'm probably just gonna use this box, honestly, of stuff that I'm going to like eventually take with me. And then I got this for my sister's boyfriend because when these came in the box, he really liked them. And it's ready-made water infusions, strawberry and basil. And they're like these little pouches with like dried fruit in them. They're really cool that he liked those. And that one's strawberry and basil. And then I got this Kaibe natural sweet and tangy baobab. Fruit powder, super fruit, natural energy, antioxidant, immune booster, prebiotic, healthy digestion, mixture, or sprinkle. So I got this because it seemed really nice and I have digestion issues. So I got that and it seems really cool. So I'm going to try this out. Then I got another one of these. This is the Modern Skin Alchemy. Um, they're like water, mint flower waters, and this is the orange blossom key ingredients, but it's like mint flower water. So it's like a toner water. So I got another one of these. I can't remember what mine scent is, but it's over there. And then lastly of these items, I got this little bag, and it's called a takeout bag. So it's kind of like a to-go container, like the little Chinese like to-go containers, I guess. It's so cute. But I just thought, I have like my big bag from Madewell that I carry basically everywhere. And that's just kind of throw all bag. And I wanted a small bag for like, if I go to like a concert, I don't want that big clunker with me. Or I'm just going somewhere really small or like out to dinner that I don't need all my stuff. So I got this little doodly do and it has like the thing. There's like no pockets on the inside, which was like fine with me because it's just a little bag, but it's like that. And it was vegan leather, obviously. So you like do this and then it like clamps. It's like leather, you can tell because it's like kind of stiff and you gotta like work with it. But I think it's a really nice little cute bag. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, like it's it's cute for sure. Like look at that. It's kind of dent like just because how it was in the box. So I think just like after using it a few times, <clears throat> it'll get its shape a lot better. But isn't that so cute? I don't know. I thought it'd be a nice little add because I have bunches like of bags, but not like I mainly have backpacks because I have like two little backpacks that I use and then kind of a smaller bag, but it's still a big bag. So I just wanted like a literally like a tiny bag for like my wallet, my phone, my keys, and then like a lip balm and a hand wash, like a hand balm net wash. So that's all the stuff I got from Bombay and Cedar. And then I'll probably sit down and talk about new year's resolutions in a little while so i'll see you in that part in a little hey what's up you guys <clears throat> i'm back so i realized earlier in my video i'm pretty sure i said it was the 14th it's actually the 16th i knew it was i don't know why i said the 14th i just looked at the calendar and the first day i saw it was the 14th so i said it but i kind of cleaned a little bit more probably doesn't look like it my room's a mess probably in the background but still oh. Macy's like jumping on blankets and stuff because she wants to sit in this chair with me but it's not gonna happen right now and then all the dogs are behind me somewhere there's Finn and Zoe's in the bed oh. Macy is sneaking in my chair I don't know what she wants to do yeah oh okay she's joining us but anyways so, I'm going to kind of talk about my New Year's resolutions, kind of, in a way. Um, just kind of what I want to do, you know. Like, the resolutions that I want to work towards, they're not something that automatically is going to happen, but 
I want to work towards it. So I made a little list. Just so I remembered, she's going to drive me insane. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So, I made my little list, and I'm going to go off of that in my cute little slot notebook. Okay. So, some things I want to do this year, just, like, kind of about, like, my well-being, in a way, is I want to be more sustainable. And that's not just for my well-being, but it's also for, like, the world. So, I want to be more sustainable and not like produce as much waste and kind of use what I have so as like I've already made videos on it I'm doing my no spend year and my no or low spend I obviously have to buy certain things every once in a while so like that will happen but that'll help me be more sustainable as I'm not buying a bunch of things I already have so I'm using all of my products I've actually made my way through quite a bit of stuff and so I'm going to try and like move more towards that some, some things that like I transitioned recently is like I had a Foreo toothbrush which I love but like the heads are one really expensive because the heads on them are like $20 and mine like I haven't had it that long but it came undone on my like the toothbrush so I, I would have either had to buy a new one that's $20 or re like a bamboo toothbrush and I had bought a bamboo toothbrush, but then my friend needed one, so I gave her a toothbrush. And then I bought one, but, like, I wanted to have a backup. And I was at this um, soap refill station in a town nearby. So they had reusable, not reusable, I keep saying reusable, bamboo, so, like, I can, like, compost them and stuff. And they had these cute little rainbow ones. So I bought this just so I had a backup, because sometimes they're hard to find. Like, I've been able to find some good ones at TJ Maxx, but they like don't always have them so i was like i might as well get this one while i'm up here and i always have a reusable straw with me because i have my keychain final of like my final straws and then i have metal straws at home but a straw i didn't have was like one like a big one so i bought this rainbow one from the soap refill station as well and i wanted this for like boba tea when i get that sometimes and then also smoothies because i hate like glass straws are okay but like i don't carry glass straws with me that often because i've had so many that have been broken because yeah i know they're in there but like other people don't so like if they hit my bag or something they may break it and i don't want to keep breaking those so i will use those at home this is one that i can put with my um bamboo utensils so i like always carry these if i'm like going somewhere that i may need utensils and they don't have them so it has like chopsticks knife fork and spoon so this is nice and I can like kind of try and shimmy this in there or just like carry it in my bag and I can use this pretty often because like my friends we get like some of these are like bubble tea every once in a while and probably the only impulse I got was this blue jar but I really just liked it and I'm gonna use it for something but I don't know what yet I don't know I'll figure it out another thing which kind of goes with no spending is I want to be more minimal so not like a full-on minimalist who has absolutely like really small like because I've always wanted to do a capsule wardrobe but that's just like it, it doesn't work for me I have gotten rid of a lot of clothing that like didn't have meaning to me the only thing I don't like about capsule wardrobes is like every piece matching with everything I have so that's kind of hard for me is like like this top is like a perfect example I have pants that are the same color I love the top. I love the bottoms. They don't match. I'm not going to wear the two colors. So stuff like that just like throws me off of the idea of a capsule wardrobe. But I want to like minimize how many clothing items I have and make them all pieces I wear consistently. So that's something I'm working for, like working towards all the idea of not having so many like items, I guess. Like I have a lot of trinkets on my desk, but like I've minimalized them to ones that like I really care about, I guess, if that makes sense. So just moving toward being more minimal and that goes with also using up a lot of my products I have because of the fact that I don't need all these different bath products and all these other things that I could just make in the comfort of my own home and not have to spend as much money. So that's something I want to move, like kind of do more of. It'll take time obviously because I want to use all my products I have before I buy other things. I am making an effort to do that another thing i want to do is eat healthier 
I'm vegan and I eat healthy for the most part but like recently I've been having a lot of gut issues like my stomach's always hurting and like I've been taking like a probiotic to help with that but what I've noticed is like when I would go out to eat a lot of places I can't eat at anymore just I don't know what it is like something in preservatives they use something in the food they use I can't do it so I just want to eat healthier and try and cook more on my own rather than like going out to eat with friends pretty often and like rather than us going out to eat like let's buy groceries and make food together like it's fun so that's something I want to do is like not just healthier because I already eat really like pretty healthy but like I want to eat like more like home cooked I guess I want to cook more that like I'm actually cooking and not like just buying something and like cooking it you know what I mean so I want to like find recipes make my own things make my own recipes stuff like that just because one it saves money and two it'll just like help my gut kind of redo itself I'm thinking about doing a juice cleanse just to reset my stomach again because like I reset it just by like cutting out a lot of foods but like I've kind of figured out what foods I can't do so now I want to like actually reset my gut by doing a cleanse of some sort and I really hope that helps Another thing that will help my stomach is I want to cut down on soda. I honestly don't drink soda that often. The only thing that kills me is cherry limeades from Sonic. I don't know what it is. I just really like them. <laughs> so I drink them pretty often. Like, not... I say pretty often, but, like, maybe, like, one or two a week. Which is a decent amount when you think of it. And it's just wasteful. I don't use the straws, so like I say no straw, but still like the styrofoam cup, it's waste that I don't need, and I don't know if they'd like refill my cup if I asked, and maybe if in a drive through but who knows, I don't know if they, because I've like thought of like having them put it in like a Yeti cup, which is like comparable to their larges, but I don't know if that's something that like they do, or I could just make them on my own, which would be easy as well, and this one kind of goes the next one goes in with like all of these like in full honesty is save money I have like the past month has been poo and the fact that the government's been shut down and I work at a government agency so like it was kind of nice just because like I've been on Christmas break from school so I've actually been able to like have downtime I was able to paint my room redo my room like set up my space to like be more comfortable like get rid of a lot of things that I had on my list that I would have had to do but like work around my work schedule so it was nice I guess to have this time off but at the same time I haven't been making any money except for babysitting which like babysitting like helps but it's just the fact that like I haven't had like the money I'm used to and also I have a check that's just floating in the air that like didn't get approved before the government shut down so it just stinks but like I want like I had money saved up thankfully that like if I need it I can go to it but I just want to save a lot of money this year and also like with Connor and I getting married I want us to both be able to like save money and like have money saved up for when we finally move together that like when I move down there we're able to like get everything set up because when he gets back he'll will like he'll get a place and everything down there so like he'll already be moved in but then when I move down we'll be able to get like everything we need to like make it for both of us to work um it's just something I kind of want us to do is save a lot of money and I feel like we'll be able to once I start working we can save with his money right now but like it's kind of hard for me <laughs> really right now with no money coming in um the next one is to be positive because I find myself like dwelling in the past of things so like if I do bad on a homework assignment or like a test I'm like uh this this and this and this and this I could have done differently like I don't want to do that I'm going to stay positive and be like yeah I may not have done good on this but I'm going to do good on the next and I think that'll just help me this semester because my other step is work really hard and do well on all my school stuff and just like be positive about it put all the time I put in make it good time don't like waste around don't waste my time and stuff like that so I really want to put good effort into it and just kind of be positive about it and if I'm going to be consistent with YouTube videos like 
I don't know, I have to be positive in it and make sure it's something I want to do. I may not post as consistently if I, as I have the past, like, I know it's only been a few weeks, but I'm going to try and post consistently and just, like, stick with that if I can. And if not, one video a week, that's something. It's positive. I want them to all be positive and not negative. I want to stop, like, being negative. Like, sometimes I may be negative about certain things, and I want to stop doing that. I want to be positive all the time, which I think it'll be easy to do. But it's, like, kind of, like, a thing you have to, like, make sure, like, when you find yourself being negative, be like, hey, be positive about this. Like, there's no reason to be negative. So, that's something I want to move towards. But, like I said, everything's a work in progress. All of these things I want to stick to. But it's, like, you can't get mad at yourself. Like, let's say, the healthy thing. If I go out to eat. I can't be mad at myself because it's not something that I said I want to cut out everything. I just want to eat healthier and make healthier options when I'm going out to eat and like make them worth what I'm getting and not just like wasting money on going out to eat on junk food that if I wanted to make that I could have made it. You know what I mean? I want everything to be like good. So yeah that's all I can really think of but I hope this video goes out today, and if not, I'll just put it up tomorrow, but comment down below if you like kind of like sit down videos like this since it had me like unboxing the, like unboxing or like going through the stuff I got and then like kind of a sit down like this, like do you like vlog type videos like this, not like sat down, because I know I've done like the closet clean out type things and like the declutters but like what kind of videos do you want to see in the future like some ideas that I have is like for when I do like monthly favorite type videos is like kind of like a check-in so like do my monthly favorites do my empties because like empties videos I could save a bunch of stuff up but I kind of want to watch how much I do in each month so do like monthly favorites empties if I've spent money on products, what were they? Was it a impulse? <laughs> was it like something that I needed to report, like replenish? Like what was it? And kind of discuss things in that matter. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.